Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. For thought today, uh, it's peace for the shadow walkers. Look at your neighbor. I'm not a touch your neighbor preacher, but say peace. Say it with me. Peace for the shadow walkers. Folks, death is obviously the elephant in this room on today. And it's obvious it's the elephant in almost any other room that you'll ever stand in. Death is the one thing that everybody has a, is thinking about, but no one wants to talk about. The brevity of life is, is a challenge. Uh, in the book of Genesis, men lived hundreds of years. In Genesis chapter 5, Methuselah lived 900 years. 69 years. One chapter later, because of the evils of men in the antediluvian world, the time just before the flood, man's days were cut down to 120 years. Moses had a lament in Psalm 90 where he said that if uh, that if the days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is strength, labor, and sorrows, where it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Moses went on to say in a prayer from Psalm 90, verse 12, he, he said this, he said, So Lord, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. This is wisdom. Folks, if you're 69 years old, you probably don't need to enter into a 30-year mortgage. Our days are numbered. Our times are at hand. It's just, you know, Job summed it up in Job 14 and 1. He said, man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. Job 2018 would be saying you're going to go through a whole lot of stuff and then you're going to be gone. Folks, each of us has to deal with this thing called death. Uh, it used to be an old adage where they used to say that you're here today and gone tomorrow. But, but we're, we're living in a day, according to James 4.14, where it says, the book of James says, Whereas you know not what you shall be on tomorrow, but what is your life, it is even a vapor that appeared for a little time and then vanishes away. So, folks, it's, it's literally now that you used to be here today and gone tomorrow, but I submit to you, child of God, on today that you can be here today and gone today. Uh, you know, uh, 1 Samuel 20, verse 3, David echoed this where he said that there is but a step between me and death. So, my brothers and my sisters, you may be determined to ignore death with your all, but death is lurking in each one of our individual neighborhoods. Hebrews 9, verse 27, the following words appear. It is appointed unto man once to die, and after this, the judgment. We all have an appointment with death. Death has reigned through the annals of times as one of man's greatest enemies. Death grips us all in so many adverse ways. Not talking about death doesn't stop it. Ignoring death does not stop it. The Bible itself speaks that the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. So until then, we have to gain solace and strength from God's word. While death is inevitable, inevitable here's how you can discover peace. The psalmist said in Psalm 61, he said, hear my cry, O God. He said, attend unto my prayer. He said, from the ends of the earth does my heart cry out to thee. He said, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy ways. 
Philippians 4 and 7 speaks of a time. I'm talking about peace for all of us shadow walkers. You thought I was just talking about this bereaved family, but no, get your mirror out, get your cell phone, flip it around, and, and take you a good selfie. I'm talking to everyone in this building. Look across the aisle. That's